All right, like clockwork, business owners say in Knob Hill, people are coming into their stores and not only stealing things, but then turning around and selling the very stuff they just stole. They say you could set a clock to it or a bus schedule routine to this. Police Romeo, you, business owners are frustrated, but police say there's changes coming here. Yeah, Ryan, APD just finished a retail crime operation at Coronado Center and Cottonwood Mall. Now they're making their way to Knob Hill to tackle the problem. Business owners say relief can't come soon enough. Like a well-oiled machine. He was coming in, stealing, getting on art right across the street from us, selling the merchandise, coming back, and repetitively doing it where he was doing it in a lot of the stores that are around this bus stop. People are coming into shops in Knob Hill, stealing items and turning a profit. I have a telephone community going on with the owners at Astro Zombies and the folks at Off Broadway. They're the two stores on either side of us. So that if something does happen, we call each other and we support each other that way. Kenny Chavez manages Masks y Mas, a gift shop in Knob Hill that's had their doors open for 24 years. He wants to see some changes. I would personally like to see more cop presence, like walking. And they PD is on it. At a crime press conference last week, the department announced a wide effort to target retail crime. This isn't going to stop. We're going to continue to pick different shopping areas and districts, work with the businesses, and in fact, zero tolerance uh, enforcement uh, during those times of operation. A retail crime operation recently resulted in 31 arrests. Now they're heading to downtown and Knob Hill. Knob Hill is the next step. Uh, we are very fortunate that our uh, federal delegation has been really good at getting us funding at the federal level for cameras. But the increased focus from APD comes after the owners of the bike co-op decided to shut down their Knob Hill shop. We've told you about their repeated struggles with crime. In a Facebook post, their store's owners say they're closing for good after 46 years in business. APD says they plan these operations based on how many calls for retail crime they get in the area. Ryan, back to you. Felice, thanks so much.